welcome back to another really exciting video so today i'm going to teach you how to create something like this so i know it's trending on instagram and tiktok everywhere this cutout style so it's very easy you can do it in your premiere pro so i'm going to teach you how to do it this so first you need a images if you don't have any camera or images you can go to pexels.com it's completely free and choose a best images so you can choose these kind of isolated images also try to add more groupies or more objects in a single frame something like this so here you can cut out all these objects so try to add something like these kind of images then it's when you are executing this child it will be more nicer when you are using multiple objects so anyway i'm going to teach you how to do this effect in premiere pro so before that to before going into premiere pro you have to cut out all these images so there are multiple ways to do this so anyway i chose multiple different images from pixels and the first i'm going to teach you how to do it in photoshop so there are many multiple ways to do this cutting uh, cut out uh, you can use ai websites or inside premiere also you can do it so anyway open photoshop and go to file and create a new file and since this is for the instagram reel you have to change the height and width according to the portrait ratio that's it that is 1080 and resolution 300 i just create a new pages now import your all images into photoshop i'm just going to import two three images only right now to avoid the complication so you can import all your images into photoshop now if you're using windows 11 just press alt tab to switch the tab and just drag and drop and increase the size and press the tick button on top and oh, you can press enter key also and maybe we imported our images now uh, if you are you can also change the layer name into one two big the reason if you are using 10 or 20 images you have to otherwise you will get confused now there are inside pre uh, photoshop there are multiple ways to cut out an image you can use lasso polygon magnetic lasso but in the latest version photoshop cc version you can see this object selection tool it's very easy it's very very easy to cut out any objects based on this object selection but anyway before we are executing this project i'm just saving this project uh, this photoshop file now go to object selection tool and just select these objects in a random method they will precisely uh, select the objects according to the edges on this object so you'll get a selection instantly so now you have to make a copy of this layer so just press ctrl j on keyboard you can you'll get the copy if you hide this layer you'll understand it's actually transparent and if you hide this you'll get to know so we just made a copy of this layer now do the same thing for the rest of the object so it's very easy and it can instantly create instantly cut out the objects from a from your images that's why i'm suggesting use photoshop i think this object selection coming under the cco option if you are using the very old version photoshop you can't find this selection uh, this selection tool now i'm just changing this layer name also now you can select all these layers and by shift and click now right click here and change the layer colors it's not necessary but when if you are using a bunch of images then it will really helpful for to understand the groupings now let's do the same thing for the second image so i'm going to use the same object selection for this lady i just randomly selected selected and it will automatically select the objects now in some images you can find some problems something like this extra selection and some but not selected then go to quick selection tool and to delete this selection hold the alt key and click you can delete the selection or just click you can add selection 
So here you can see extra selection. So delete by pressing Alt key and click and drag. You can delete this selection. And if you want to add the selection, just click and click and drag. That's all. So basically, it's very basic. So Photoshop, you just have to select the object. So since you have the object selection tool, it's very easy. It's very faster. Now we are done with the selection. Now we can do the you can just press Ctrl J for duplicating the layer. And we already done this. And also you can now select this uh, sign board for now. So you don't have to use all these objects. If you are comfortable with the pen tool, you can use the pen tool to separate the objects, whatever you want. Anyway, I choose right now. I'm using quick selection tool over here and it press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. So, anyway, we are done for the cutting part. Now, exporting set. So, you can export each and every. I'm going to change the layer color, color change the layer colors also. Now, to export all these layers, it's again, it's really easy in the latest version you just have to enable all the layers and once you are done now go to file and export layers to export choose this option so it will export each and every layer separate images now you can choose the destination folder here and Choose the desktop and you can put uh, your file name. I'm going to change into cuts. Now you can choose visible layers only. And this is important. The file tab. It has to be PNG 8 or PNG 24 because we need a transparency. So enable the transparency. Also untick trim layers and interlaced. These two. Definitely you have to untick trim layers. And you have to tick transparency and just press OK. It will start exporting each and every layer layers as separate images. So once you go to your desktop, you can see all the images are keep exporting. So once you are done with that, uh, you can import into Premiere Pro. So anyway, this is the one method. And second method, if you want to try with the different method. So this is one AI tool called remove bg it's a website you just have to drag and drop your image into this website it will automatically cut your images but there are some restrictions but still if you don't have access to photoshop you can use this method so i'm just drag and drop these images into this website and it will automatically remove your bg so here they nicely remove the sky but still if you want to remove some part go to edits and erase and restore you can erase and adjust the brush size and you can manually remove your things from your photos with this tool so this is if you don't have access to photoshop use this remove.bg options anyway uh, this is the one method who don't want to use this photoshop and you can do it in premiere pro itself you don't have to now let's do the video edits in premiere pro so it's very basic i've told you now it's placing layer one after one and but there are some technique i'll teach you that no anyway we, i'm done with all the cutting things and let's import all these images into premiere pro so as you know, just you can just drag and drop all these images or go to Premiere Pro and file and import all these images, whatever you want, you can choose. Anyway, I'll choose all these images. I'm not choosing entire images, just two, three images only right now to avoid the confusion. Now you can create a new sequence according to the Instagram real size. It has to be 1080 and 1920 the portrait mode basically and you can choose the time base into 30 frames and also you can change the sequence name we are done now drag and drop your first images first full images not cut out means first images into timeline maybe you have to zoom into your timeline a little bit okay this is a five second image 
Now, at this point, you can reveal your first cutout. Now, you have to import your images accordingly. That's all. So, this is the images that we already done. Uh, these are the images. So, according to the size, you can drag and drop. So, I'm just drag and drop the first cutout and drag and drop your second cutout from the same image now if you go you can see the images and drag and drop your third cutout if you have then finally once you all your done final image now if you just play you can see each and every cutouts will reveal accordingly now there are some technique just select all the images from the second images right click label and change color differently so one like we already done in photoshop so it will give you a better workflow to understand each and every groups so change the colors accordingly so this is done from here actually you can place the next cutout okay just play from here actually you can Thing you have to adjust the timing. Oh, that's too far. Cool. Also, you can adjust the timing according to your music beats. So here I'm not using. So here, actually, you can place your next cutout on top of these layers. Keep adding like this, but it's too heavy. To avoid that, just cut the layers. Select all the layer. Control K, and it will cut all the, your layers according to your playhead and select this part and delete it. Now, place your next cutouts like this. So I'm not adding into the base layer, into the second layer because we will add something over there later. So into the second layer, the second cutouts and into here. Now the problem, we have to make this image as background. So if you are extending from here, it will cover your below layers. So click all, hold the Alt key, Alt and click and drag. You will, you will get a duplicate of the same layers. Then move into the bottom layers. So still you can see the layers and also you can see the new cutouts. So this is how it is. So this is the technique. It's very easy and place your final image that's all final image means if you have more cutouts keep adding then finally final image now select all these three layers label and change color into something different see now you will understand why we are changing the colors because since once you keep adding more layers you will get confused that's why we are keep adding keep changing the layer, layer colors according to the group now you can import your rest of the images so i'm going to add these images and now it's very easy duplicate this the last final image into below and extend that video and keep adding your cutouts one after one and third one now if you have more keep adding then finally final image change select these layers and change the label color into some different colors that's all i think this is in green only different green but let's change the colors into something purple i think rose this is better now select this ctrl k delete this section duplicate this part and action and keep adding the cutouts so that's all the video so if you so this is a preview okay i will show you the preview now you can add the cuts according to your music beats that would be much better so this is the basics of the cutout style now if you want to try a different style or if you want to animate these balloons before reaching into the right place you can add a keyframes like Select all these layers, this cutout. 
Select this cutout and go to FX control and add a keyframe for position. Keep it into the end of the thing and in the beginning you can change the position. Now oh, I have to move this icon into it will here. Now keep adding the keyframe for the second cutout and yeah, that's all. Then this layer, add a keyframe and so if you play this, you can feel a little weird over the, the reason you had to end all the keyframe before you are revealing the actual video the final frame now if you start playing or you can do the rotation scale position if you want to do an animation so this is the basics now go to file export media you can export this video as a mp4 to upload it on your instagram wherever in the social media and change the format into H.264 and preset into hybrid bitrate or medium, both will work. And change the location, export location, wherever you want. And press export button. That's all. So, hope you enjoy it and stay tuned for more videos.